What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning back in. It's been a little bit since our last video, but we are back with more tutorials and more how-tos and just the basics. So you got your mod in. We got our Toyota Super GR. Um, if you don't know how to get cars into Content Manager, uh, please refer back to my other video for how to put cars into a setup. But assuming we have our car and you're like, all right, I have this Toyota Super GR Supra A90. Open up your CM showroom. I want to put some wheels on it, right? You're like, all right, these stock wheels are cool, but they're not good enough. So, so you're like, all right, I want to put, uh, I say you're like, I want to put these wheels off the GT86, some nice, you know, folk racing TE, TEs. Um, you're like, I want to put these on my GR Supra. So here's what you're going to do. First, you go to your GR Supra. GR. There we go. Now make sure, first things first, we go to settings, we're going to go to content manager, plugins, and make sure that you have 7-zip installed, FBX converter, and those two. Those two are the ones that you want to make sure you have installed. So the FBX converter and 7-zip. Now once you have those things, then you will need to go to about, and about. Look for the version number. This will get you into dev mode. So we're going to click it a shitload of times. Um, however, I am already in dev mode, so I don't think it will do anything. But you click this this number a shitload of times, and it'll ask you, do you want to go into dev mode? You say yes. Once you are in dev mode, you go back to your car. CM showroom. You should see this unpacked KM5 on the right side. So this will allow you to, to get the textures, the FBX model from the KM5 file. We're going to unpack KM5. It's going to do this this whole thing exporting. All right, so this window will come up. Now, how you want to structure your folders is copy everything that's in here, that's in the unpacked folder, okay? So copy, control, copy, or control C. Now, what I like to do is on my desktop, I have a Aceto Mods folder. And then inside that, I have a current projects folder and then a shortcut to the cars list inside the root folder. That way I don't have to keep on going to uh, x86, Steam, Steam apps, all that stuff. Current projects. Make a new folder for your car. So Supra. Okay, click into that. Paste the files, the three files that you have there. Now we're going to load up 3ds Max. While 3ds Max is loading, we are going to exit out of this. Go back to your DCGP GT86. You have your, your parts car. So unpack KM5. It's going to unpack. We're going to what I like to do when it says model.fpx. Sometimes this gets confusing as to which which car this is or you know what FBX this is. So I just like to rename as GT86 or whatever the car is. Now make sure you are renaming the other one. So this first one is the actual FBX file. The second one is the configuration settings or also known as the INI settings, or also known as the persistence files. So this will kind of tell a case, case editor um, what the shader values are for each, each object. So it's quite the list of things. You don't want to mess with anything in there, but you would just make sure you copy these again. Now we're going to go back to the folder that we made and then inside the, the car. So this is the, the folder in the desktop. Inside here, we're going to go ahead and paste. It's going to ask you, do you want to replace the files in the destination? Now, you want to say no. You want to skip these files. Reason why is currently in the texture folder, you have the textures for the GT86. Oh, sorry. You have the textures for the Supra, and we are just adding the files, the texture files for the wheels. So we are skipping, replacing other files and just doing the the new the ones that are not currently there if that makes sense this will give you the persistence and also the fbx so now that we have this structure like so we're going to exit open up 3ds max file import locate that folder and then look for your supra we're going to hit ok make sure that it is skill factor one all right, so there is our Supra on the left side on your scene explorer. 
we're going to find the wheel underscore LF, LR, RF, and RR. These are all your dummies for your wheels. These contain all of your wheel elements and allow the game to know what is what is the wheel and what will spin when you are driving down the road. Uh, collapse these. I like to just completely... So you're going to control, click, so click, and then control, 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 or control, click. And then you have these selected. Now these will only select the dummies. So we have to make sure you do is control, right click, and select child nodes. So this will select all the things within those dummies. Um, so that way you select everything within that wheel. We're going to go and hit delete. Look at those beautiful rotors. So we are left with everything but the wheels. Now, file, import. Click on the GT86. Make sure your skill factor is at 1. Make sure you have automatic checked off just because sometimes it screws you up. Now, if you don't have a number here, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to fix that. Sorry. So you have your cart imported. Now, before you click anything, you don't want to click out of it. You want to just drag this back like that. So you'll import like this. If you click, then now you got to go in and, you know, try to find, oh, fuck, where was the, <laughs> where was all the stuff for the 86? So before you click out of anything, you want to make sure you just drag it back. I just drag it backwards just because it's easier, but you can drag it up, you can drag it down, just anywhere that is out of the way from the main car. You also do not want to move this car. If you move your source car, then it will screw a bunch of stuff up and that's not going to be good. So just just only move the, the parts car. In the scene, because we deleted our wheels, the stock wheels, we will only see the wheel LF, LR, RF, and RR from the parts car. So we're going to go ahead and control click, right click, select child nodes. We're going to move those here. So don't worry about, so these big boxes, these are called dummies. Um, those are, it, it could be different sizes, doesn't really matter. Um, just don't touch them at all in terms of resizing it. Now, now that we have our wheels over here, looks like we also have rotors too, which is fine. Um, I'll show you about that in a bit. So we don't need this car, we can just delete it. Okay. Now, next step. Click on, look for the wheel LF dummy, right uh, Right click, select child nodes. Now what we're going to do, we're going to locate the suspension uh, SUSP underscore LF. So if you hit Alt A on the keyboard, this will toggle the align tool or the tool up here, align. And then without clicking anything else, you click suspension LF. This will bring up this selection. Um, you want to make sure that these are checked on the the align position X Y Z, and then the current object is set to, is set to center. Target object is set to center as well. All right, nothing else down here. Hit apply. Hit OK. So now we have our wheel perfectly aligned um, where the uh, the suspension is. Now, if you remember, there was a there was a uh, a disc over here somewhere. I actually don't think it's visible, so we'll just leave that for now. So now we're going to go ahead and do the other ones. So wheel LR, Alt A, click on suspension LR, XYZ, and boom. So as you can see, the disc is poking through, so I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. Wheel RF, select child nodes, Alt A, select suspension RF. So as you may have noticed, the corresponding wheel goes to the corresponding suspension. Not too tough, right? Wheel RR, Alt A, suspension RR. Okay. Got some T's on this Supra. So now, um, that's about it for the wheel swap. But real quick, I'm just going to go and delete the, the, uh, the little little things, the little discs. So sometimes it could be in the wheel dummy, suspension dummy. Um, in this case, there's a disc dummy for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete all these because we don't need those. Select child nodes and delete. 
Okay, well that's about done. Now we don't want to we don't want to uh, adjust alignment in here. So we don't want to say like, oh, camera gang, you know, let's go. Yeah, dude. Oh, uh, sick. Right? Because that's going to screw up everything. Your wheel's going to, uh, it's going to flop around. So you want to keep it exactly how it is when you got it. You don't want to move the wheel, um, you know, in and out. You just want to keep it where it's aligned. Okay, we're going to do all the alignment and height and camber and whatever other alignments you can think of in data. So from here, we're done. We're going to file, export, go to the, the folder that you created, current projects, Supra, and then overwrite the Supra GR. Okay, scale factor, make sure that's at 1. Y up, binary, FBX 2014, 2015, hit OK.